well, I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to retire. So here shortly, uh, I'll, I'll hang it up after 39 years of service. June 11th of 1982, and uh, I was I was going to my first drill with the 432nd Chemical Detachment in uh, Florence, South Carolina, in the Army Reserve. And uh, there there was a valuable lesson I learned on day one in the Army, and that is a, a leader's recon is a good idea uh, because I I wasn't able to find the armory, and as a result I I was late, so I was late on day one of my first drill uh, in the Army. And then to, uh, to make sure that the learning was particularly painful uh, for that event, I had to report to the first sergeant when I got there. And uh, the first sergeant was my dad. So I can assure you that after that, PFC Steinbrecher was never late for another formation uh, for the rest of his military career. You need to learn from those that have got a lot of time wearing a uniform because they've been there, they've done that, and there are lessons to learn there. Don't dismiss them as being out of touch, as being irrelevant, as and, and don't dismiss their experience. Uh, I had just started the Army War College uh, as an 05, and I was reading, I was reading an article about uh, Brigadier General Billy Mitchell, and General Mitchell was talking about a another officer that he had served with in in the First World War, and he was giving an assessment of that officer and that officer's performance and why that officer had not progressed further in the Army. And General Mitchell's assessment was that that officer never learned that it was more important at the senior officer level to gain consensus among your peers as opposed to trying to bull your way or to bull your way through others to get your way. In other words, don't be the angry lieutenant colonel because at the higher levels, the consensus and the cooperation of your peers is what's going to get you to where you need to be. Whatever that challenge is, you're going to be able to get through it if you simply maintain an even keel and allow time to do its thing. Uh, there's, 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 another, there's another saying that says, give time time. And if you are able to apply sufficient time to a problem, generally, you can solve that problem. And again, that's, that's been something that's, that stood me in good stead throughout my career. What I'm proud of is that whatever goal I had, I was able to get there. And I don't for one minute uh, delude myself by thinking that I got there by myself. I wouldn't have been able to get there without, without my wife's support and help. I wouldn't have been able to get there without commanders that, that believed in me and believed that I had potential uh, for, for, for more service and for greater service. And I, and I hope that I've, uh, I've hoped that I've lived up to that. The responsibility, the duty, uh, the soldiers. It's uh, just the, the entire lifestyle. Honestly, at this point, I don't know. Uh, when you when you do something like this. For as long as I have, and in the last 20 years or so, almost, almost as as routinely as I did my regular job, uh, 
it, it's it's kind of hard to to go from from full throttle to hard stop. And it's hard to envision what it's going to look like when you're at full stop. There are lots of words of wisdom out there from, from all different sources. But probably the one most appropriate for a person in uniform is, is a quote that was made by General Robert E. Lee. Uh, concerning duty and he said that duty is the, is the sublimest word in the English language you cannot do more than your duty but you should never wish to do less and if I had to teach someone one thing before they put on a uniform, it would be an understanding of duty.